Good evening and welcome back to Guild of Dungeoneering. I'm Bodhi Apparatus. We took a day off yesterday. I've been trying to do these one a day here, but uh, I took a day off so that I can complete the jungle quest line that I mentioned last episode I wanted to accomplish because it'll give us a ton of money and that'll let us expand the guild even further and get some cool weapons unlocked at the outset rather than waiting till the end of the DLC here to unlock those things. So uh, I did get 5,900 gold here. We're near 50 away from the third thing. I think that's everything then. We also unlocked the garden, which is definitely going to assist us. Basically gives you one extra heart for all Dungeoneers reward for completing the jungle. So this is the tandem to the fountain right here. So we're going to put that right next to the fountain, actually. Um, but yeah, these two things upgrade all of your Dungeoneers. So if we look at our Dungeoneers now, everybody's got an extra heart. Is that right? Let's see. Drunken Sailor had six before. No, it's a, okay. I mean, I'm not sure. Maybe... Maybe it doesn't go into effect on here, for chance? I'm not sure. He should have... I don't remember, did he have six? I think maybe he had six, now he has seven. Yeah, that could make sense. Anyways, uh, without further digression here, we're gonna expand the guild once more. And we have uh, everything unlocked in tier two here. We want to unlock the tier three things. Uh, we have 5900, which means we can unlock two of the three things. And then after we do one mission, we can unlock the third. So let's get uh, the first two here. We have the, the Sword of the Sea. And the Cutlass, uh, that's the only two piratey ones, yeah. And the Cutlass, Tenacious, wow. That's a, that's for a level one weapon? It's an epic level one weapon, that's pretty cool, so we're buying that. Um, and then we're also going to expand the guild once more, and get the Seaweed, this one has Decay on it, that's actually, that's not a good thing. Uh, and then Blessed, Ocean Staff, so this is actually a really cool one. Holy 2 plus Blessed, that's really cool. This... This one adds Decay, but Armor 2 and Growth 2, I gr believe Growth 2 adds a bunch of healing. Growth, I think it has a lot of healing attached to it, so the Decay might not matter as much. Um, oh boy, do we want to do that or do we want to do the other one here? Which is this? The Rum Barrel adds Arcane and Armor 1, and the Long Coat adds Swift. Oh boy. And Show Off. Oh, I want to see what Show Off is. Okay, we're unlocking this one first. I really want to see what Show Off means. Uh, hopefully we can get that stuff, and then after this mission here, we'll get the uh, Lex next thing unlocked. Let's go exploring once more. Oh, we have to get through this part here. Deep underground in the Dwarfen Mines, be aware there are no warning signs. You could turn around and just walk away. And then live to fight. Another day. So this is the entry into the, the Dwarven chapter, and the mines and stuff like that. We could go get a couple bucks by doing that, but... I think we'll get plenty of money just by doing what we're doing here. So we have the coin trail. Coin the coins will take you to him. Or uh, we have the one we couldn't do that do last time. The uh, give it back, uh, which was quite difficult. But uh, let's do let's do this one. The coin trail and see how this goes. Uh, we're gonna take back our drunken sailor once more, and the coins will take you to him. Coin trail. So I really want to get the other characters unlocked here, and hopefully they're coming soon. We still got Tiat, our uh, dungeoneer here. And, uh, yeah, so the way these dungeon, these, these pirate dungeons work is that you have to actually find the characters in the levels. And, uh, yeah, it's gonna, requ I think it just requires doing the right missions, but I think we have to get, I didn't see any in the first one. But maybe we'll see one if we get to the end of the, the second one here. I don't know. But then it's like, you're at the end of the, the, the DLC at that point, though, by the time you unlock everybody. We might have to do a couple episodes of just going through the dwarven area just to try out the new characters, maybe. Uh, after this is all over. Uh, okay, good. A power, nice fountain of power. Okay, and we'll go after... Man, these mermaids will mess you up if you're not too careful. And really, if you have a magical character, they're not too difficult because you can use mundane on them. Uh, we're going to go with the eel, I think, because the mermaids... Really, we're not, we're not geared for the mermaids just yet because we don't have any kind of magical spells, so we don't get that attack bonus. Uh, otherwise, the mermaids will mess you up. So we're going to go with the eel instead. Let's start with that here. We have to collect the three gold coins. So I'm going to kind of meander through this by going up and down, left and right here. All right, so back with the the Drunken Sailor. I've been playing the Ranger to get through the jungle here because I don't want to accidentally risk losing Tiot here. Um, so I have to readjust to the way this plays. We definitely have more health than before. We have we definitely only had six health before. Now we have now we have eight. Yeah, we had seven before. Now we have eight. Yeah, OK, so that, that makes sense. All right, so uh, Reckless Swing just makes a lot of sense right now. We'll save the squinty eyes for when we need it. And really, this character... I mean, we have so much health now, it's not going to be... This, we're going to get through the first couple areas here now. First couple enemies are gonna be, not going to be an issue anymore now that we've unlocked the jungle stuff. 
Hopefully there's still a little bit of a challenge here, though. I don't want to just, like, plow through all this. Uh, let's see. Pigeon Nest. Demon Claw. I guess we'll go with... Let's go with Pigeon Nest. Because we did unlock some of that stuff. I know there was one that had regrowth on it, but I think that was also a head. So I'm not too sure if we'll actually be able to match those up. Uh, let's see. I, let's, try, let's try our Hermit Crab next. And see if we can take that out. If we can take this out, then we're ready, we're ready for over here. Um... Do we want to lay in a thing over to there? Oh boy. Now the three gold coins, we could actually get these probably randomly and probably just stay over here if we wanted to, if we wanted to just kind of be cowards, but we're not going to do that. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna go with it. We're going to go for it. Go with it. Go, go. Oh, found of decay is not good. And unfortunately, I made ourselves a dead end here, so we're not going to be able to get anywhere around that here. Uh, okay, so he's going to make us discard a card here. Um, in which case, let's see, tough, mouth all block is increased by one okay oh boy let's just go rekindle maintain our health at least if we're not going to maintain our cards and now he's going to make us change out a card we're going to go reckless swing here then and let him change out that card and then uh wow we can just do reckless swing reckless swing is a really powerful attack especially when you have a lot of extra health here now we're gonna fly through these early guys here all right so he's doing a block here so we're gonna actually go squinty eye Oh, we could have blocked all the damage with the other one. Oh, well, that's all right. We'll, we'll live. We'll live. And, uh, yeah, we've got it now. I mean, no matter what, we got it. We got it here, so it's fine. All right. Here we cram, no big deal. So maybe we could get through level one and level two enemies pretty easily right away here. Okay, so we have the hook, which adds shift and slice. We have the scimitar, which I don't think is a piratey thing. Um, let's go with the hook then. We gotta be piratey. We gotta go piratey. Even if it's not advantageous, we gotta go piratey here. Now we have decay for the next battle, so to keep that in mind. Actually, the battle after this one. We can do one more level two enemy here before we do the this next level one enemy here. So let's do another hermit crab maybe? Or do you think we can take a level three on already? I mean, if we can take a level three on already, we'll be stomping through the rest of the rest of the game here pretty much. Nothing's gonna slow us down if we can get through the level, uh, Level three, like for three battles, get to level three. We would definitely be overpowered at that point. I'm gonna fall over, block some of that damage. And then we're going to, now I wish we had saved that for this particular situation. Um, uh, let's go rekindle. We might want that extra health later, so we'll just go with that. And then uh, he's gonna make us recycle a card. I think we do the damage up front then is what we wanna do. Because we might not get a damaged card next if I recycles it, so. Yeah, we got our big damage, we got our card back anyways. Okay, so let's go uh, save this. Actually, no, we, should, we shouldn't save it. We'll just do this one damage here and get the car, extra card back in our hand. Now we have more options. All right, I think we've got him at this point now. Reckless Swing and Reckless Swing will take care of it. Without too much problem. And he's doing one. That takes us down to two left. But that'll do the job. All right. Okay, Tattered Mail. Man, I don't know what's going to be the most piratey out of these things. I think, the, I don't know. The Fez would be not... Eh, the, yeah, it's wise, which is kind of cool, but... Um, I guess Daisy Chain makes a lot of sense. It's just a direct upgrade to the Pigeon Nest anyways. Not that it's very piratey at all. Um, all right, so... Let's add in... The enemy here. Let's add in the Corridor here. Let's get ourselves around the corner here. I don't think we really need to worry about leveling too much here now. We can pretty much fly forward, I think, at this point. Now, we gotta be careful not to put the wrong piece in here. We want what piece is basically a, either a, a, a crossroad like this or a T going down, maybe. Um, but yeah, I think that's what we want to do. All right, so a giant crab. Wow, we have so much health already. All right, he's blocking one. Let's do magical rekindle here. Let's do just two damage. We'll get one back. Oh, we have decay on. I forgot about that. Oh yeah, we have careful. Gotta be careful. Um, he's gonna make us discard. I think what we do is the. Uh, let's do the shift so we get we get our card back then. So it'll make us lose one. We'll get one back then. Basically recycle then. And here, let's see if we do three. That takes me down to four. 
Yeah, I could go with Reckless, let's, let's, reckless Swing. That's gonna take us down to uh, five here. No, six. Now we need four damage here. Okay, so this, we can't block that at all. Oh, this is actually gonna be closer than it needs to be. Um, let's see. If we go this one here, that takes us down to two. And then it gets, then it gets dangerous. That gets dangerous. Oh boy. Okay, that we're gonna have to go with it though. I don't want to do it the opposite way here. Oh, I forgot about the decay. <gasps> oh no. Oh, that's right. I forgot about the rum too. <laughs> it's a good thing I off my off my forgetting offsets itself. Oh, fantastic. Okay, slice will do the job then. There we go. Good, good. My uh, my my oversights completely balance each other. Corset or tricorn or stiletto. Oh, I think corset then. Right. For sure. All right, one gold coin down. And we didn't unlock another gold coin here. I'm sure, I'm sure if we had gotten one in the hand here, though, it would have, uh, it would have actually counted towards the total here. I guarantee it. So, uh, let's fight a were, were crab mage to fix things up a little bit here. And then, uh, yeah, that card, I could have played it, but I don't think it was the right direction for us. So we're going to hold off on that. I did not know the were crab mage was frail. That I did not know at all. He's gonna make us discard a card here, but we're gonna totally do Reckless Swing and do four whole damage against him. Yeah. Well, he won't stand up to too much of that. Uh, let's do Squinty Eye and bank some damage, seeing as how he's blocking anyways. And now he's going to gain Conceal. So we'll do Restore here. Get a, get a, get a, health, a couple health back here. Now. Uh, Freya will actually win the day. I guess we didn't really need to worry about the health back because we had this banked here. We could have done Clum's Left Jab to win here. Last turn. That's all right. We got there in the end. That's what's all that matters here. So, try to bleed. I don't know if we've ever gotten bleed before. Oh, wow, that's really cool. Okay, we're going to go with it. Let's why, why not? Let's go with that. We get Eviscerate and Bleed. A couple of cards we're not getting to. I mean, I guess it'll play as physical characters too often. It plays magical characters generally. That's probably the reason for that. Uh, let's take on the cranky pair here. Squeak, squeak. And we'll be super high leveled now. Yeah, we're totally ready for this though. And he's going to steal a card from us. We're gonna do restore here then. Oh, he's got a blood. That's right. He's gonna steal a card if we block it. If he blocks anything, so we're gonna go restore here. Get a couple extra health. And he's not gonna steal anything then. Yeah, that works for me. So. Dice is the perfect card for this situation here, because we're going to do three damage with that one. Because he's got an unblockable attack. And then he's just going to bleed out, probably. Our first time playing bleed. Uh, let's just repel. And he's going to lose health. He's ferocious, so that's why that got through. He had one extra damage for the ferocious trait. Uh, let's see. Fall over, just let the bleeding do its job. There you go. Yeah, that works nicely. Heater Shield, Sword of the Sea. Ooh, nice. Uh, we lose the bleed, which I'm actually enjoying. Um, we don't have anything really on our head. Oh, we guess we do. We have the the the. the we have, I guess we have everything on everything now. Let's take some gold. We might have a chance at getting a gold coin here then. And that'll actually get us closer to our mission. Nope, just gems at this point. I think we're too high level now. As I was saying, we don't want to lay this card in here because it's gonna limit our options as far as getting over to this guy here. So we're going to wait until we get a better card. We're going to have to go back and forth here for a second. Um, let's let's just grab the extra gold. Make sure we get 50 at the end of this thing. I'm sure we will. I'm sure the rewards at this point are going to be more than 50, but we'll just make sure we get enough money. Um, and then that's not going to work. So we're just going to do another one like this. Go back and forth as needed. And. Nope, still nothing, man. Okay. A Buccaneer. Or great crap. We're not gonna fight those things. I don't want to fight those things. So let's let's head down here, and uh, let's see if there's any cards we can use now. This will do the trick. Okay, this corridor here was, is fine. That will do the trick, and then we just need one more card here. It's not the most optimal, but at least we have a couple options now as what to play here. So let's end that, and we'll bounce back right to here to get that picked up, and then we'll head into the next crab area here. Get our gold coin. Hopefully get the right movement cards. There's the one. Drop that in here. Okay, our work's cut out for us. We got this taken care of. I mean, these guys aren't tough. We're super high level now. 
compared to these measly little giant crabs. Alright, so let's tear through these guys really quickly. Let's add on bleed? Yeah, why not? Oh, he's got tough on, it's not gonna land. Oh, I forgot about that. Shoot. Should have paid attention down here. Uh, he's got some blocking going on here. Nothing we can really do about it. Uh, let's play rekindle, because that doesn't depend on it landing or not. It just gets a heart back. Regardless, it will get blocked. Man. I forgot about that. Uh, okay. I think we'll save dice for later. We'll do clumsy left jab for now. He's gonna get a heart back. Which we immediately take away. And now... Let's see, he's blocking, man, he's blocking a lot here. Let's just do fall over here, block some of that damage. Because he's got the tough on it. Anything he has a block on is going to be kind of tough to get through. Alright, reckless swing. Finally we get some damage going here. There we go. He's actually wor worn us down pretty far here. Uh, we will repel that attack. Because I don't want to lose another card here. And, uh, let's... Let's see, he's got six left. He's doing two damage to us right now. I guess we go shift and get an extra card. Because our cards are just the boosting cards right now. And this guy's tougher than I thought he would be. Mostly because we didn't play that first card right. I think if we'd played that first card better, this would have ended up much, much differently. All right, let's do, let's see, we need three damage here. Eviscerate will be good because it doesn't do any self-inflicted. So we'll do that eviscerate first here. It doesn't block the damage point at the block, but that's okay. And now we have options open for us. Okay, so he's going to do two damage. If we do... Oh, we can do slice here without incident. Yeah, let's just do that. I was going to say we could do the uh, the old uh, reckless swing here or whatever, but that's fine. We don't have to get down to one heart. Voodoo Mask. Seafarer's Brace adds Retribution and Mind Strike. Okay, I think that's worth it. I think we'll totally do that. It's worth it. Uh, I don't think it'll really matter too much at this point. All right, we got two gold coins. And then promptly to be followed by three gold coins. And yep, can't get that money, so let's grab it. And then we'll unlock the third tier of stuff here. Once we're done. Or the third third item out of our, our list here. Ooh, Viscerate is a perfect card for this. Very, very nice. Nice start. And uh, we will go... He's got one blocking. Actually, this is not going to matter because he can block all of our damage. So we're just going to do clumsy left jab here because it's all going to get blocked anyways. He's got the, the tough trait on, which we're well aware of now. Uh, let's see, let's do uh, let's do slice and save the dice and save the squinty eyes. All right, now I say we go squinty eyes and then we'll play dice the following turn here. And this will do the trick. We can take his card if we wants, but he won't take our freedom. All right, so it doesn't really matter. Let's take the anchor. And we got our third gold coin. Excellent. And 142. Well, now, this is just really quite surprising. Thanks to you, I've lost a wager. Against all odds, you're surviving. Next time, I hope you find more danger. All right, so we can return to our guild, cash in hand, and expand it once more. Get the Ruined All, which adds the Seaweed, Ocean Staff, and a bunch of other cool things. Our deck is pretty diluted at this point. Like, we're going to have a lot of different things that aren't piratey. Just a lot of things in general, but it'll be still cool. It'll still be cool. All right, so with no characters unlocked yet, I think we should go on another mission. It's written late in the episode, but we'll, we'll go a little bit long this episode, seeing as how I didn't have one yesterday at all. Uh, the Crab King. Why not, right? We can take that. Drunken Sailor versus the Crab King. Let's see if there's anything. We, are we going to get the character unlocked here now? Hope, I hope we do. All right. Defeat the Crab King. He attacks in 10 turns. And which means we don't have to get there in 10 turns. We just have to be ready for him in 10 turns. He, basically, when it says attacks in 10 turns, he will automatically teleport to us. It doesn't look like he's going to get any kind of bonus or anything like that. He doesn't have any negative traits. The only thing we want to be aware of is that we don't want to be surrounded by enemies when he attacks us because it's a leader trait on that gives him an extra health if he's surrounded by an enemy. So we want to make sure we take care of this crab next to him, and then we'll be ready for him. Uh, I think we will be ready for a mermaid here now, though. So let's do that. I think we can take a mermaid on right away here. We have enough health to survive it, even though they are a little dangerous. I think we can do it. No quarter asked or given, matey. All right. 
So, mundane is a great thing if we have magical abilities, we don't have any. Uh, so we just gotta get by on True Grit here. Uh, Reckless Swing. We're gonna trade three apiece now to make us recycle a card. He's down to four already, though. Uh, he's just doing a pure block here, so I think we'll just go Reckless Swing again. It's gonna take us down to four. That's okay, he's not gonna have a four damage card in his hand. Nearly, okay. Let's block that damage. He's gonna kill himself here then. All right. Mermaids are no problem anymore. The barrel? I guess we gotta go pirate trades. Even though it adds stupidity in, we're going with it. So it's a risk, but we gotta go with the pirate thing. I said I was going to. We have to do it. Okay, drop this in. That's the perfect card, actually. And we can put in a gold coin to direct us where we wanna go. Uh, we can put in a giant crab to fight, because why not? These guys don't have leader trade or anything like that. I am kind of sick of fighting these crabs, though. I mean, we're in a crab mission, so yeah, it makes sense that we have to fight so many of these things, but seriously. All right, so he's gonna do that. We're gonna do this. Still take him down a peg. Now he's got tough, so we gotta keep that in mind here, too. We have two damage. We'll actually trade three each, then. Really keeping it even is the really key here, I think, in general. All right, so we got our stupidity finally came into play here. He's going to make us discard a card. We're going to hope that he makes us discard the stupidity card, otherwise we're not going to play it. Uh, we'll do a squinty eye here. And bank some damage. He did take our attack card there, though. Let's do fall over, block that. Hopefully avoid playing the stupidity card here. Oh, no. All right, it's going to come down to the wire here. We, if we get any kind of attack, we've got him. Pretty much. This is not going to work. It's not going to work because this is self-inflicted damage. He's going to do one damage to us. It doesn't matter how much damage. Oh, wow. We're going to lose to a giant crab. No, I don't want to. We would. Oh, that's right. Ha, I always forget about the rum. <laughs> well, OK, so he's got double blocking. He's got four. He got three. OK, he's plus one, right? So he's got three blocked. We have four damage plus five. So that's yeah, we have enough here, I think. Right. And he's going to do wait. Oh, he's just gonna mess us up. That's what's gonna happen here. He's gonna kill us. The rum didn't matter. Oh, the rum. Why does the rum not matter? Uh, we, got, we got so lucky and close there. A sorry tale, a gory story. Another hero dies for glory. In the ground, they rest the head. Dead, dead, dead. All right, sorry, Tiat. That, that was unfortunate timing. Oh, we got overconfident there. We were thinking mud crabs, mud crabs, mud crabs. George, oh, that's a good name, George. All right, we got mud crabs on the brain and weren't planning ahead. I think, I mean, there's no reason to lose that one. We were getting bad cards, bad situation, but I was taking so much self-inflicted damage that it is willy-nilly without really like thinking about it too much. And then the stupidity card came in. I hate taking stupidity cards for this very reason. Had we had a better card in our hands, we'd had more options to just lay that attack down when we had solid health to do so. Well, I said I was going to do another mission here, but I think we're out of time to get it through at this point now. I'm not going to do another one at the moment here. We'll come back next time, finish up this crab quest. I think we can handle it. Doesn't seem like it's that big a deal. Uh, next time we got it for sure. And then uh, hopefully we'll figure out how to unlock another character here. I want to know which missions we need to do so I can get those done early in here. But we're getting through all of the expansion stuff here before we can even get any all the characters unlocked. Uh, I'm kind of mad about that, but uh, we will... Yeah, hopefully you can have a good chance to explore all of them beyond just the drunken sailor here and uh we'll check it out next time hopefully so thanks for watching once again and i'll see you guys later this is the guild of dungeoneering on a quest we're never fearing or to be a dungeoneer swimming in pools of gold